just gives me a few extra hours in the day just when you really really need it earlier today i went to costco and i found some delicious trout fillets so i decided to buy them together with some veg which i'm going to package together in a delicious parchment parcel this recipe is absolutely delicious you can make these packages ahead of time you can cook them or you can just leave them in your fridge and cook them when you need them when they are cooked and ready all you need to do is open it up and everything is cooked together in its own steam it is absolutely delicious before i go any further with this recipe do make sure that you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell that's youtube's new bell icon that will notify you every time i upload a new video now let's get cooking I'm going to prepare some minute or express rice. This is brown rice and it takes about 5 minutes to cook. Add 2 cups of boiling water, cover it and cook according to the package instructions. Once the rice is cooked, I'm just going to leave this aside. I have some large rectangles of parchment paper here and I'm just going to fold them in half. I'm going to prep all of the veggies. I have some asparagus and I'm just going to take off the woody stems by snapping it right at the bottom. I also have some sweet peppers and I'm going to slice them and remove the pit. Next I'm going to prepare some broccoli. I'm just going to separate the florets. I'm going to chop about a tablespoon of parsley. I'm going to move all of the prepped veggies and I'm going to add some mushrooms. Now these mushrooms are nice and small so I'm not going to bother slicing them. I have the broccoli stem here and I'm not going to throw it out. It's really really good. I'm just going to julienne it and it's incredibly delicious. I'm also going to add some of the peppers. Nothing is going to waste. They're going to make a great side salad. Add a little bit of dressing and it's good to go. I have a quarter cup of melted butter here and I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard and some fresh black pepper and a pinch of chopped parsley. I also have four gorgeous trout fillets here. Each one is about 6 ounces. I'm just going to take one of the pieces of parchment paper and I'm going to weigh it down with some cutlery. I'm adding 3 fourths of a cup of cooked rice and I'm going to flank each side with some asparagus spears. I'm also going to add some peppers, mushrooms and some broccoli. Add a piece of fish on top of the rice, add some salt and pepper, the butter mixture and some lemon slices and I'm just going to top this with a little bit more parsley. This will flavor the fish and as the fish cooks, it's going to flavor the veggies and the rice as well. It's now time to seal. Some people prefer to cut this into a heart shape but I prefer the simpler semicircle method. Fold this over and start folding the package to seal. As you get to the end, you're left with a chunk of paper. This is where the heart shape would have been easier to seal. But I'm just going to tuck everything in and seal it. Notice that there's a lot of space in between. This is enough room for the steam to build and cook the fish and the veggies. I'm going to place this in my oven tray till I work on the next one. When the second package is ready, on to the tray it goes while I work on the next two. You can either cook all four packages at once and just reheat them later or you can stick them in the fridge and just cook them when you need it. I now have all four done and I prefer to cook them and just reheat them when I need them. They're going into a 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Once it's out of the oven, I just like to open the package by cutting it with the scissors and allowing the steam to escape. This fish is perfectly cooked 
and it's so moist with that buttery mustard sauce. I'm going to add that simple salad I prepared earlier and this is ready to eat. Thank you so much for joining me in Kirby's Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's going to save you a ton of time and you're going to thank me. Do make sure to leave your feedback in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. Also, make sure that you're subscribed and share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I really hope to hit 50,000 subscribers this year, so I hope that you can help me get there. Also, make sure to follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Till I see you next time, take care. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed and meal prep. Hi everyone, welcome back to Cravings Food Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed and today we're making parchment trout. Now these fillets give me a little bit extra time as mm, parchment trout sounds so dumb. What can I call it? Trout in parchment. Trout in parchment. Parchment. Trout parchment parcels. Can I call it trout parchment parcels? Does that sound good, Adam? Trout parchment parcels. Yeah, because it's like in a parcel. So what should I call it? Oh my god, I need trout parchment parcels. How about trout parcels? No, it's not a mistake. Okay. It's not a parcel though. It is parcel. It's in a no, it's boxed in. It's packaged in a parcel. It's like sealed. It is a parcel. I give a bag, and then you open the bag, and then you eat the meat. It's a parcel. Because uh, it's actually uh, it's en papillot. But I don't want to use a French name. Okay, anyway. Oh, that's tough. It's not poulet. It is. It's trout. Trout is not chicken. French in poulet is chicken. Just call filet en papillot. No. That's not bad. It's too French. It's okay. <laughs>